So what that tells me is that even though you claim to be a Christian, you cannot be convinced about the blood of Jesus. If you're willing to let your child go off and experience these other faiths, these other religions, and let them make up their own decisions, then there's just some things that are non-negotiable. There's just some things that is not up for discussion. Now, if you want to go and see for yourself about what school you want to go to, right. come on, somebody, that's your college choice. You do whatever you want to do. But when it comes down to your faith, see, I'm sold out and convinced there's only one way to heaven. And we think that we're being good parents because we're allowing our children all this freedom. Leading them right to hell, right? I'm allowed to say that, amen. I'm going to make sure I'm in order. But the word says that if serving the Lord is undesirable to you, choose this day whom you may serve. But as for me and my house, as for me and my house, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, this may not apply to everybody. But I came to talk to the one. Mm, right. And so the third thing that God is showing that we need to address is making sure we get in position and are able to help single men. A lot of times we think about men's day, we think about husbands, we think about fathers. But there's a lot of single men out there that need some mentoring as well. And God is saying we have to be in position so we can mentor and disciple the single man about the sanctity and the value of marriage. We got a single man here today? Anybody, anybody single today? Amen. Praise God, brother. Praise God. I'm talking to you today. Man. I'm talking to you today. We notice in society that men are getting married because of pressure. Men are getting married because they're bored with being by themselves. Men are getting married because maybe they, it's cheaper to do that than the child support route. Right? Oh. Come on, somebody. Oh. Some are getting married because she looked good. Everything that's good to you ain't good for you. Come on. Come on, somebody. All you Come on. And so these men are getting married for all of the wrong things because they have not been trained and discipled about the sanctity of marriage and the importance of marriage and the spiritual responsibilities that come with being a husband. And so everything that we do, we got to show signs that we're capable of the responsibility before pursuing the role. 